In this video, I'm going to show you how to use mobile services and Unity 3D. You'll want to have created a mobile service and you'll need to download Visual Studio. You can get that for free using the link provided and also create the to-do item table. You might also want to make a note of your mobile service connection URL and connection key. I'm just going to show you the to-do item table that's been created. At the minute you're not going to have any records, but you will have the default columns already there for you. Next I'm going to download the Prime 31 plugin. And this will allow us to use Azure mobile services within Unity 3D. So download the Metro Azure plugin. You'll need to enter in your name and email address and Prime 31 will send you the download link. You'll also need to install the mobile services SDK. You can download that from tinyurl.com slash install Azure SDK. If you don't download the plugin, you won't be able to build the application for Visual Studio. Go ahead and walk through the wizard. I've already installed the SDK on my machine, so I'm going to exit out of that. You'll also notice I have downloaded the Prime 31 plugin. Once you've got all those things ready, you can create your Unity 3D project. And I'm just going to create one with the default settings. Once that's been created, go ahead and import the plugin from your downloads folder. That's going to import the Prime 31 plugin. It's going to have the editor and plugins folder. The plugins it's going to give me are for Windows and for Windows Phone. And I'm going to go into the Metro Azure folder. And you'll notice we have a to-do item data model class for to-do items in our application. But first you'll need to edit the Metro Azure demo script. And you're going to have to change the mobile service URL and application key. So I'm going to copy my mobile service URL. Paste that in and also copy the mobile service API key and paste that in. Don't forget to save your changes and when you jump back to Unity you should see in the preview window the script should update. Remember to open up the Metro Azure scene, which will contain our UI elements, and go ahead and run that. So although it runs in the Unity editor, it does not actually connect to our mobile service using the Prime 31 plugin. So I'm going to have to build out the application for Windows. Go ahead and add the current scene and switch to Windows Store. Select the XAML C Sharp solution and 8.1 is the SDK. Tick C Sharp projects and development build. And then change the player settings. You'll want to add in the internet client capability so it will connect, allow you to connect to the mobile service. And in on process plugins, add size equals one and the element zero field you'll want to enter in the string p31 metro azure dot dll. And once that's done, you're ready to build your 
application. And that will build out our Visual Studio project for Windows. Go ahead and open that. And you can check the package manifest and ensure that the capabilities for internet are selected. You might also want to change your configuration manager so it matches your um, testing device. I'm going to select x86. And I'm going to also have my mobile services table open just to show you the records being added in. So go ahead and run that on your local machine. And first you want to connect to the Azure service and then you can insert some items. So once you've connected and inserted the items, you can refresh the table and you can see that those items have been added in. And that concludes our introduction to mobile services and Unity 3D.